Everybody, Joey Buddha over here, aka Joey Goodman. Just wanted to take a quick second to do a tutorial on how to install a WordPress theme through your cPanel. It seems to be something that a lot of people are asking me these days, and although it seems very complex, it's uh, pretty simple and it's very, very useful in setting up your blog, maintaining it, and even changing it up a little bit. What you're looking at right now is my current theme on the blog, which you can find at joeybuddha.com. And what we're going to do is change that up for you. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is find a theme that we want to download and install. Personally, I found this one on skinpress.com, which has a ton of great themes. So what we do is we download the theme. When it asks you if you want to open it or save the file, you're going to save the zip file. And your next step is going to be to go to your cPanel. The, by the way, the zip file gets downloaded, if you don't know, into your downloads folder. So this is my cPanel through Bluehost. Most people, um, actually I'm sorry, most cPanels look just about the same, if not almost identical, and can be very intimidating and confusing. So we're just going to stick to the basics here. And what we're going to do is go directly to File Manager, click on that, go into joeybuddha.com, hit go, and we're logging in. Okay, so now we're in the document, we're going to take the WordPress file and theme file and upload it into the cPanel. Okay, now we're going to go down to, I'm sorry about that, to public HTML right over here. Click on Joey Buddha. I happen to have a couple of different uh, domains under this account. Next thing you're going to do is go on to WordPress content open that up and you'll see a category or a folder for themes these are all the themes right here and over here that I have right now installed on cPanel and um, what you're going to do is click on themes go directly up to upload and click browse from there these are all my WordPress sites uh, I'm sorry, WordPress themes. We're going to click Notepad 2nd, open that up, and it's going to start to upload. It's relatively quick. There you go. Done already. Next step, go back to the cPanel. Here we are. Now all you have to do is click on Notepad 2nd, which is the file that you just loaded in zip form, and you're going to extract it ask you if you want to extract the files go to extract files OK it does its job shows you the results hit close personally I like to take the zip file out of there right away so I click on the zip file and go to delete and delete files as you'll notice notepad second the theme that we just uploaded is right over here so next thing we're going to do is log into my WordPress blog. So here we go. Uh, we're going to log in, and it's going to take us directly to the WordPress dashboard. If you go right over to Appearance, now you can see all of the different themes that I have accessible to me. And the next step is going to be notepad second this is a theme that we just uploaded so all I have to do is press activate and that's it you notice that you can go and select and choose your widget setting which is going to be different for every site but if you go back to Joey Buddha's blog you could see right away ta -da, it's implemented in there and it's ready to go of course, with every different theme, there'll be a couple of little small things that you can tweak up from your WordPress, your WordPress dashboard. As you can see, this is still a little gibberish for you. You can go back in and fix that, but the rest of the blog is all set up the way it should be. 
and you are ready to go. So if you have any questions, go to joeybuddha.com, shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to help you out. Hope it worked. Please comment, um, let me know what you think about it, and you can do that right underneath here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, hope it was helpful, and that's about it. All right, take care, everyone.